Hey guys, um, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to record any videos within the past few weeks. Uh, it's just been getting confusing with school starting and all kinds of things going on. So anyway, um, a lot of things new have been happening around here. Um, we have the park here with the new September 11th memorial. Well, it's just the pool. mark them yet, but yeah, I'm gonna mark them. And September 11th just passed up about a week ago, a week or two ago, but I um, started working on this. It just explains September 11th, breaks it down for all the people that don't understand what it was. And it helps people understand that horrific day and what happened. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna call this park Memorial Park. And with that, I'm gonna have like a little plaza over here. With like the flag surrounding it. MC pretty much gave me a, temp a template. So yeah. No new changes to the country club. Uh, I think the, the last thing that I did that you might not have seen was just the windows. Yeah, pretty much did these side windows. And I did this. I think I might put like a little chandelier here. I have no clue. Just a small one. So that's pretty much it in terms of changes. Because I haven't worked on that yet. Um, no new changes for Savannah Ridge. Now this, I don't think you guys seen this last time. This is the new Chase Bay. Um, this spot has been disputed as to what I wanted to build here. And I decided to build a bank because I thought it would fit in perfectly. So anyway, let's look at the inside. So we have the part as you walk in, like the front two doors, and then you have the side that says it's put to case bay. I think it's actually the opposite of the color, but we'll see. So this is the lobby area. I can do much of the lobby area because it's small. And then we have the self-serve bank kiosk. Right here, the Chase Bank self-serve kiosk. And then this is like the little um, account receipt. I don't know. Over here is the back one bathroom. There's two bathrooms, but it's for any gender. And then back here is a little area which I still am yet to add any lighting, which I should do that now. I think I'm gonna do it. How do I do lighting on here? I think I did use these blocks. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna add a, um, I think I might do it like this. Oh yeah, and Minecraft released a new update, which I will talk about later. And it's pretty much, I pretty much have to wait for the update to come out because I have disc. I'll talk about that later. I'll, I'll explain that later. So yeah, this is the, um, if you ever wanted to come in and talk at a desk, I didn't do this yet because people can come in and do their own desk. I can pretty much hire people to work here. It's a bigger branch than like the other Theotropolis branches. That's a national bank. This is like this is like more of a, like a service. You're required to have a bank account if you're gonna do anything for me. But if you wanna, you can choose a bank. So it's not like you have to be with the Atropolis National. So yeah, this is like the little waiting area. 
security cameras and then the lighting. This is like the safe back here, which I have not hit yet. Um, it's actually finished, but I'm just not going to show it. This leads to like this area, and then there's like a little side exit leading to the parking lot. Actually, right here, I believe, this is where the, um, where the, um, ATM is. I think it's right there. Yeah. Like, right here. Anyway. Over here is where the, um, drive-up area is. This is like the little, um, this is the refrigerator, like, what do you call it? Employees, um, I forgot what you call it, I'm losing my mind today. Alright, that's pretty much for the interior. the Chase Bank, the um, ATM that I was talking about when I was in there. This is the outside of the drive-up area. Over here is the drive-up ATM. There is, what, three drive-up ATMs? One. This can be an ATM or this is a drive-up ATM. This over here is the main drive of the Um, pretty much most of the changes in this world is over by the interstate. I've been working a lot over there, and yeah, you see some progress over there. I've been working to build this overpass for you guys. about making this an overpass also. Like this right here, I think I'm about, I might make these two bridges crossing over this way. So yeah, over here. This right, this sign right here is completely irrelevant. And it's not even needed because I built the better one back there. So yeah, over here is where the changes are. Um, as you can see, there's an exit that's being built right here. And so far, that's been taking a lot of my time. Like, for like the past two weeks, I've been working on this exit. Because it's confusing, and that, don't pay any attention to this. This was a failed attempt by my friend to help me with something. Anyway, we have the exit. And the new revised interstate signs look like this. That's the thing up there. And, yeah. And they also have, like, this part at the bottom. I've changed all of them to look like that. Alright, this is the overpass. And also, something major that's been happening here is... I've made the Twitter is a media now. I've made it Twitter is a media. So now... You don't have to, well, for the new part, you don't have to turn and, like, you make one wrong turn and then, and then like, you turn into oncoming traffic. It's not like that anymore. It's an actual exit. Like, it's an actual, uh, comedian. And it also made it to where I can, um, have a center part in when I do, like, the bridges. So, yeah, that helps a lot. This is one of my most... I, I consider this part of the confusing... The confusing roadways. That's what I've, that's what I've been starting to um, improve with. So yeah, that's the overpass down there. And this is the um, exit, which this part, don't even pay attention to that. It's still been worked on. But yeah, this is what we have so far for the um, interstate. Notice how I'm changing the ground to um, concrete. It changes up there by that first concrete block. It changes from stone to concrete right here. 
So like over here it'd be like stone. If you get what I'm saying. Like and behind this it would be like concrete. Like it'd be concrete over here. Yeah, this is the um, exit. I think I'm gonna be, because this exit is based off like a real life thing. I think I'm gonna call it like Perkins Road. I think that's what it is. No, it's Highland Road. It's in Baton Rouge, which is like our state capital here in Louisiana. It's um, it's like right there. If you if you're from Louisiana, you know where this is. It's by this um, park called Blue Bayou. Which it's like this water park and it's like it's a water park and a theme park. Blue Bayou and Dixie Land and they're both together. And it, normally if this was real life it'd be sitting like right here. It'd be like right here. But I don't think I'm gonna put it there. I think I'm gonna put a six flags there. That's what I planned on doing, but six flags is a major project, so I don't know if I can work on that now, but maybe later when I have time I can work on the six flags. Because there isn't a lot of variety. There isn't a variety of theme parks here at all. We don't have any. So yeah, down that way I think I'm going to do um, an exit for Oakland Heights, Savannah Ridge, and the St. Louis Cathedral, which is the neighborhoods that are down that way. And as for over here, it's not going to stay an overpass. It's going to go down just like it did on this side. And I need helpers to come help me on this. My normal helper has been slacking a lot. And when I mean a lot, I mean a lot. Doesn't look right. Or does it? Yeah, it is right. Okay. So my normal helpers, they've been slacking a lot. He was able to do this one lane right here, but I expected like both, well, all sides to be done because I had, I had two helpers helping me on it, and so all of a sudden they don't want, I guess they don't want to help out, or they've been very busy about like with the new update, so it's not like a big deal. But I would like if you guys have an Xbox One and let's say you have the disc version, and um, I'd like some help from like some assistance with you guys just help me tidy up this wall just a little bit more because it's been like I've been splitting all my plans like I've been working on this um, I've been working on this area and then they have the airport area the city hall airport area and then there's another planned community that I want to build over here but I've never had the time to build it's like right here I think I'm going to tear this up down yeah, I wanted to build a planned community right here called Westgate Estates. And I never had the time to do it, but I'm going to try to find time to do it. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, this is what I pretty much, for the interstate exit, it's like this right here. It's like this side. Just think of this as the off-ramp, and this is what I wanted to do. Like, but it has to go this way, and then it has to have the line. So it's disputed. It's very disputed. Just think of this as the off ramp, but over here is the uh, the entrance for the interstate. And like, this is this would be Perkins Road, I guess, or Highland Road, which is that ex, which is what the exit's called. Perkins. It's either gonna be Perkins or Highland. In real life, there's it's both because there's a Perkins. No, there's a Highland East West. And then there's like all kinds of things. So it, it's disputed right now. I'm still looking for like names. And on this sign, I think I put yeah, this was this was that way would be south. And this way is north. Yeah, this way takes you south. And this way takes you north. Because look look at where we are on the map at the bottom left corner of the screen. Notice how when we start moving, we go south. This takes you south. That's the easiest way to determine where you are on the map. If your dot starts moving south, or like bottom, you're going south. You're going top, you're going north. And this way is, uh, south. I 
actually, this is west. Yeah, this is west. Left, east. I had it, I thought at first, when the maps were like weird, I had it to where this was east and that was west. But then I looked at it and it says, um, well now this is east and that's west. But now this, this, um, side pretty much is for like everything that's in this area, just in this area. And so, because it's an interstate exit right here for the Mall of Louisiana, which is right there. And by the way, did I even show you guys the progress? I think I did, but MC is starting to work on it a lot more. Um, hopefully he continues to work on it. And hopefully we don't run into problems. And yeah. It should be an interesting thing to finish off. Um, I, I'm nowhere near finished. As you can tell. But yeah. This is the main entrance right here. And this is where the Dillard's is going to be. Well there, there's two Dillard's. There's like the regular Dillard's. Because it's a small Dillard's. And then there's like the big Dillard's. Well like the um, men's Dillard's. And the... MC is complaining about because he doesn't want a Dillard's there. Because he wants something different. But what I'm telling him is, Dillard's, I bet they spent a pretty good, decent amount of money on paying for two plots in the biggest mall in the state. I think it would be about right to just give them the plot and, like, give them what they paid for, pretty much. So it'd be weird just having the mall in Louisiana, calling it the mall in Louisiana, and then having it to where it's not even like the mall in Louisiana. It's like there's one store that's like off. Oh, that would make it the Mall of Theatropolis, which I was going for more of the Mall of Louisiana. I, I want it more of like the real life mall. And then I can add my customs to it. So like, yeah. I, yeah, so I told you guys about the six flags. And yeah. So anyway, about the Better Together update, um, it pretty much excludes me until like January, I believe the 30th or like the 18th. I actually had an uh, article pulled up about it so I can read it off to you guys, but I I don't know what happened to it. It was on my screen, now it's not, so. So yeah, I think it's going to be until January, um, near the 20th where I can actually try to get on the new update which I I've seen the update I've heard about it I just based on what I've heard I don't like it but because it's gonna be so many changes but change is good change is bad some people say change is bad but change is good to me that means that I have to adjust to more things and like make my world more adjustable to the new update but that I mean it just takes more time, but that's why people are, like, upset when it doesn't change. But, to be honest, it's fine with me. There's, like, no big deal with me because certain things, certain changes in the world, I wouldn't even, like, mind. Because one change that I wouldn't mind is the availability to have, um, the, whatever you call it, the world edit. And that would help me out a lot. That's one change that I wouldn't mind. Hopefully they do have that on there. Um, another change that I wouldn't mind is servers. Like, I would be able to connect to my computer. And my computer and my phone, it should be on the app store right now. But I should be able to connect to it on my phone. And... I should be able to connect to it um, on my tab, on my iPad. I think that's pretty much what I'll be connected to it on. And so I can play it wherever I want to, I'm pretty sure. So, and yeah, I have it back on the Xbox for when I'm ready to get on the Xbox for it. So anyway, that's pretty much it. But because I have the disc version, I can't actually, um... I can't actually play on it, like, right now. I have to wait till like, January to get on it, so... Oh, and yeah, I have to play for five hours, which we already know. I've already passed it up within the past year. Yeah, it says you have to play w for five hours within the past year, and I've already did that. I've already surpassed that. Um... 
Yeah. I've already surpassed that. So, anyway. I should be able to play on it by January. Oh, and this airplane is... I think I might rebuild this airplane in the air. And because it's too big for the runway. And a bunch of other reasons. Because I think I'm moving the run... I'm going to move the runway that way. And, like, have it to where the um, airplanes can taxi. Because this is odd. And I don't like it. That's really odd. And it's newish. And I don't like it. I've... That's why this airport is on delay right now. Because of that runway. I haven't been working on the airport in a while, like in a few months. This, it's on delay. Oh, and I started this world on like September. I forgot the exact date. But I know we already passed up the date to when I started the world. So yeah, it's been one year since I played, since I started this world. It's been one year. And it's been very nice. It's been a very nice year getting to know all the people, especially. Uh, Big Novo and it's been a pleasure um, working with you and helping and you helping me with this world. And I've learned a lot from you, a lot. And, like seriously, I've learned a lot from Big Novo. And um, thank you, Big Novo, and if you're watching this video, and I hope to have another great year with you helping me and we learning about other stuff in this world and becoming more creative with our ideas because I know I've watched Big No One like build and he's really improved over the past few years and I don't think any of I don't know if you guys know who he is but yeah I think he has been one I think he has been in one of my videos most of my people that play online with Xbox with me actually plays that actually play with me on the Xbox in this world they know who Big Nova One is, so, yeah, thank you Big Nova One again, um, and I hope to have another great year with you, um, and actually, if you guys are wondering, this is my first, um, this is my first, this is my first, um, this is, oh, I can't, I'm stuttering, this is my first build in this world, so anyway, I want to close that off by saying thank you again for this year and thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.